All right, begin. What's going on y'all, what it is? I hope you guys are doing well this morning. Now, I'm not gonna take too much of your time, I just wanted to come forth and bring you some more information in regards to the Kim Porter situation. Now, before we get started, I would like to say that the information that I'm about to exude to you is all alleged. I have to protect the integrity of my platform and I also have to show respect to Kim's side of the family when I'm reporting on this delicate issue. And I would also like to add before we get started that I thoroughly and profusely apologize to this person because I thought that this person didn't have Kim's best interest at hand. You know, I FaceTimed them last night. I apologized to them. They said that that was enough and that they weren't interested in a public apology. But because I mentioned this person's name a plethora of times while covering the Kim Porter story, because I felt that their silence meant compliance due to the fact of how close this person was to Kim, I just had to jump on my platform and say that I'm truly sorry without mentioning your name as you requested, but you really taught me a valuable lesson that patience is virtue. So with all of that said, guys, I'm extremely happy and over the top elated to announce to you guys that Kim Porter's book will be released. Now, I will say that I got this information from an extremely reputable source and the details that are going to be within this book are emphatically riveting. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get up into this email that was sent to me. All right, so it says here, Kim Porter's book still in the works, my love. Good morning. I tried calling you back last night, but I figured you were knocked out by the time I tried to contact you. But I wanted to let you know that Kim Porter's book is finally in progress and will be released in blank of blank. I met with blank this past Sunday evening and she showed me the rough drafts that Kim sent her. When looking over the details of Kim and Diddy's relationship that will be exposed in the book, it will absolutely blow your mind. I was devastated to read the things that Kim put up with and witnessed during her relationship with Diddy. Also, some of the things in the book cover Diddy's gay relationships, footage of those encounters, the men he slept with, STDs, Diddy giving Usher an STD, and the explosive encounter between Diddy and Usher's mom, Mary J. Blige being pregnant by Diddy, and of course, she had an AB, the beatings Kim took, pushing him down the steps in 2007, and him breaking his foot. Also, how she would use a strap on to please Diddy, and how she would hysterically cry alone after doing so. How she protected Al Be Sure from running into Diddy and would call him to warn him not to show up to certain places to avoid trouble, and how she tried to put an end to Diddy by using a screw. How the East Coast and West Coast faked having beef to eliminate Biggie and Pac to obtain their masters and full on catalog before Pac and Big were planning to come together and challenge Bad Boy and Death Row to own the rights to their music. It's just a lot. It's a lot of things that I promise not to mention, but this book will be earth shattering once it hit the shelves. Anyways, don't forget to let me know the dates you are planning to fly out here to LA so we can accommodate your stay. And with all the threats you have been receiving, we must provide you security. I'm off that for the holidays but I will call you when we get settled probably around 10 p.m. your time. All right, y'all, so you guys just heard that. Now, I do want to pinpoint something because I do remember back in 2007 where Diddy did break his foot, but it was unknown what was the cause. Did he fall? You know, was it just a, you know, freak accident or whatever the case may be? But it says here, P. Diddy is on the mend after having surgery to fix his broken foot. The rapper who injured himself last week underwent surgery to fix the problem, but it is not known how the accident happened. Diddy's representative said he did have routine foot surgery, but I'm not getting into the specifics. It was a scheduled operation. He's doing great and he's on the mend. The injury is not expected to affect the rap star's work schedule and there is unlikely to be any long-term damage. Now, what I will say about this interesting dynamic is the fact that Kim Porter and Diddy broke up in November of 2007, which is the same month that it was reported that Diddy had surgery on his broken foot. So it sounds like to me that there is some truth and validity to that story. But anyway, guys, I'm so glad that Kim Porter's story will not go unheard. Even though she's not here with us, I'm glad that she still gets an opportunity to expose the low vibrational shit that Diddy has been on for almost his entire life. But good folks, I'm gonna draw the line right here. I want you guys to drop down in the comments and let me know what you think about this whole particular situation. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And until next time, peace. Well,